In this video, you will discover how a series reactor is manufactured, the various types it comes in, and its range of applications. In low voltage systems, series reactors, also known as series, inductors, or chokes, are used for various important applications. There are several types of series reactors, each designed for specific applications and operating conditions such as detuned reactors and line reactors. In our previous video, we talked about detuned reactors. Now let's dive into line reactors. Line reactors are typically used for variable frequency drives based on specific needs. They can be installed in two locations in the circuit, at the VFD input and at the VFD output. Let's begin with the VFD input line reactor. An input line reactor for a variable frequency drive is an inductor placed in series with the input power line to the VFD. Its primary functions are to reduce harmonic distortion, protect the VFD from voltage spikes and transients, and improve overall power quality. Next, the advantages of this filter will be explored. 1. VFDs inherently generate harmonics due to their switching operation. An input line reactor helps to reduce these harmonics by smoothing the current waveform, thus minimizing the harmonic distortion fed back to the power supply. Two twat electrical systems often experience voltage spikes and transients due to switching actions, lightning strikes or faults. An input line reactor limits the rate of change of current, DIDT, thereby protecting the VFD from potential damage caused by these transient events. Three. While not its primary function, an input line reactor can help improve the power factor by reducing the harmonic content of the current drawn by the VFD. Or usually, VFDs have low inrush currents due to implemented measures. However, placing a line reactor at the VFD input can further reduce the inrush current. The input line reactor is installed between the power supply and the VFD input terminals. It is crucial to follow the manufacturer's guidelines for installation to ensure optimal performance and safety. The design of this filter depends on the impedance factor, voltage, and current of the VFD. The VFD manufacturer typically recommends a suitable input line reactor. Are you curious about how these reactors were assembled? You may watch the relevant video. If you have enjoyed the video so far, please like it and share it with your friends to support us. Next, the output line reactor will be reviewed. An output line reactor for a variable frequency drive is an inductor placed in series with the VFD's output to the motor. Its primary functions are to protect the motor from the high frequency switching transients of the VFD, reduce voltage spikes and mitigate the effects of long cable runs between the VFD and the motor. Next, the advantages of this filter will be explored. 1. VFDs can generate high-frequency voltage spikes due to their switching nature. An output line reactor helps to limit these spikes, protecting the motor insulation and extending the motor's life. 2. The term DVDT refers to the rate of change of voltage over time. High DVDT values can stress motor windings and insulation. An output line reactor reduces the DVDT, minimizing potential damage. 3. While the primary role of an output line reactor is not to reduce harmonics, it can help smooth out the PWM, pulse width modulated, output waveform of the VFD, resulting in a cleaner current waveform to the motor. 4. When there is a long distance between the VFD and the motor, reflected waves can occur, leading to voltage doubling at the motor terminals. Output line reactors mitigate these effects by absorbing some of the energy of the reflected waves. 5. By smoothing the output waveform and reducing harmonic content, the motor operates more efficiently and with less heating, thus prolonging its operational life. 6. Output filters protect the motor in against the reflective wave phenomenon and DVDT peak voltages due to long motor lead length or high cable capacitance. Additionally, the added inductance of a filter may help reduce motor heating, motor noise, and motor vibration. In the curves, you can observe how this filter affects the voltage. Based on the length of the cable connected to the motor, the type of cable and the motor type, the design of this filter is determined. 
If inverter duty motors and cables are used, a smaller filter will suffice. If the cable length exceeds the allowable limit, DVDT filters or sine wave filters must be employed. Additionally, if necessary, the inverter carrier frequency can be reduced. Please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications and share our content with your friends. Leave us a comment if you have any questions or suggestions.